Hello, this is James with Lot Hill. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Cache Footprint to the SQL Server Express database using the advanced method. When you first start up Cache Footprint or if you are connecting using a client, uh, you may be asked to select your server with the options of basic, advanced, and then there's a cancel option. If you click basic, the software will go out on the network or on the local machine and try and find any instances of the Cache Footprint or SQL Server Express uh, server. If you click on Advanced, you can also choose the server by clicking the ellipsis button and then the software will search the network for any SQL Server instances. Now if for some reason the software is not finding an instance or you decide not to have the SQL server browser service running so it's not broadcasting on the network then you would need to know the server name or the instance name and enter it manually so I'm going to show you how to do that I'm going to assume that right now you're on a single machine and um, we're trying to connect cache footprint to SQL server express and for some reason or another, let's just assume also that Cache Footprint is not finding the server instance. So we're going to try and do this manually. So what you'll do is you'll click on the Windows Start button. Go to All Apps. Scroll down and find Microsoft SQL Server Express. 2008 R2 is what we are currently using. You can use 2014 or 2012 if you want to. We're just using 2008 R2 for this example. And let me see, we're going to try and find SQL Server Configuration Manager is what you're looking for. When you click on that icon to run it, it's going to ask you to confirm. Click Yes. And then you should see the SQL Server Configuration Manager screen. When you click on SQL Server Services, you're going to see a list of all the services that are running on this machine. If any are stopped, you're going to want to right click, go to Properties, click on the Service tab, change the Start Mode to Automatic, hit Apply and OK. Same for the, so the only two you really need to have running is the SQL Server Browser and if you've installed it according to our installation video you're going to have a SQL Server cache footprint. If you install SQL Server Express just clicking next 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 all the way through the browser will be stopped you'll need to change that to automatic and then start it right click hit start then you'll also need to right click the SQL Server cache footprint or SQL Server SQL Express right click that go to properties make sure that the start mode is also on automatic click the service tab automatic and then right click it and hit start so once those two are started you're in good shape um, this is the name you're looking for cache footprint or SQL Express that would be the name of your instance so let's go ahead and, and jot that down in our memory here. Um, I'm going to use Notepad++ or Notepad. I'll just use Notepad. So the name of my instance is Cache Footprint. Cache Footprint. Okay. And the computer name, we also need the computer name. So let's close SQL Server Management uh, Configuration Manager. So all you have open is Notepad with our instance name in there. It could also be SQL Express. So if you see that, don't worry. I'm just going by the example in our video. And next, we want to find out the computer name that's needed by the connection wizard. So right click on your start button. Right click on the start button, go to system. And on the systems window, once that pops up, you're going to see the computer name listed right here. In this particular case, mine is called Lot Hill W10 Lap, because it's a laptop. So I'm going to take that and put that name in Notepad, and I'm going to put it in front of 
the instance name. So lot hill dash w10 lap. And then we're going to put a backspace or um, a backslash between the two. So it's going to be computer name backslash instance name. That is our server name. Now our database name by default is going to be cache footprint. So let's assume that that's what we're using. Cache footprint. And if you are using a single standalone computer, your authentication type is going to be Windows authentication. That means you don't need a username or password. Now, if you're installing this on a client machine and connecting to a remote server, you're going to need the username and password. By default, in our video, the installation video that we have, the username will be SA and the password will be C4 dollar sign H capital F O zero T capital P R I N seven or I sorry. R1N7. Okay, so those are the credentials that we would need to connect to our server. Um, if you're connecting to a remote server, like I say, you'll need username and password, and the authentication type will be SQL Server authentication. And this is for um, remote. for remote server instances only, okay? Now that we've got our credentials, let's go ahead and connect Cache Footprint. Click on your Windows Start button, All Apps, find Cache Footprint Point of Sale, click on the, well, let me think about this. When you first start Cache Footprint, it's gonna ask you for basic or advanced. So I want you to start Cache Footprint, click on Advanced, then you're going to see this screen here. This is the server connection configuration. I want you to put in, let's see here, put in your server name. There we go. Then put in your database name, copy that, paste that into the database name. Your username, you can leave blank if you have a single computer. If you're only using a single computer, change the authentication type to Windows Authentication and then click Connect. If you're using this as a remote and connecting to another computer that has the database installed on it, so if you're running two registers in a back office and let's say your database is installed on the back office. Now, right now, let's assume that we're connecting the register. You'll choose a server authentication type in your credentials, and then click Connect. Once that's done and you connect, Cache Footprint will install or configure that connection and bring up the user login screen. It'll look just like this. That's all there is to connecting Cache Footprint to the SQL Server Express instance. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at 855-LOTHILL or product.support at lothill.com.